Heifer from the Hillsborough County Adopt-A-Pond program. We're here today at a county pond. This is our experimental pond where we're going to be showing you by demonstrating how to maintain a pond. I'm here today with April. You might remember her from our lake sampling video. And Octavius is here to help us out uh, today. So we're going to be walking around. We're going to first do a pond walk around the pond to identify what plants we need to worry about maintaining. So let's take a walk around. Come on, guys. So our first plant here is Primrose Willow. In this plant, you can see the long leaves. Ooh. Looks like a willow tree. And they're kind of hairy. And we also have another distinguishing feature is the yellow flowers. There's four petals to the flower, and that's another, another uh, indication that this is Primrose Willow. This is an invasive plant. So we're going to um, have this as be something that we're going to be pulling out of the pond today. Okay. So let's see what else is in here. These grasses here, do we pull them out or? This is actually soft rush and it's native and we're going to leave this in here. It's probably planted in here and it's doing well so we're going to leave it. Right here we have some dog fennel. You can see kind of its fuzzy look to it. There's some over here and also over here. This is a plant that it can be a nuisance. So this is going to be something that we're going to end up pulling out of the pond um, or the, the shoreline over here as well as, as the other uh, nuisance plants. And over here we have what's called Caesar weed. And you can see the, the broad leaves to it. Shape. Definitely, definitely helps you to be able to identify this. This pink flower is another uh, distinguishing feature of Caesar weed. So we have some sedges in here, just a variety of them. We're going to leave those in there. They're they're fine to to keep in the pond. Are they rooted to the ground? Yes, they are actually rooted into the ground. Okay. What we have over here, this is called smart weed. And you can see the white flowers on it. It also actually has a peppery taste if you end up trying it a little bit. You just don't want to be eating too much of it. Yeah. And that's native. We're going to leave that in here. You might normally find it a little bit higher on the shoreline, uh, more at the water's edge, but because the water level is so high right now, you're seeing it a little bit deeper in the pond. The plant behind it, that pink thing on it, mm -hmm. what is that? That's a good question. That's actually apple snail eggs, and it's from the exotic apple snail. That's why it has that, that uh, deep red uh, pink color to it. Um, we don't want those in here because those apple snails end up eating the food, um, eating all the plants in here. So not only do you get the damage to the plants, but it also eats the food of the, um, the native apple snail. So it will de deplete that population. So we want to be able to get rid of that. Okay. What we're going to end up doing with those is we're going to scrape them along, along with our maintenance. We're going to um, scrape those off the plant uh, as well. Should we use gloves? You don't need to worry about um, using gloves. You can just use your hand to kind of peel them off, let them fall in the water, and that'll kill the eggs. So if we wouldn't do that, they would kind of turn out like Octavius Jr.? Yes, actually, it would. That's actually an adult apple snail. And we want to be able to get rid of those too because those are what's producing those eggs. So we want to try to get, uh, get rid of those as well. And there's a couple ways that you can do that. What you can do is you can collect them as you're going around in the pond, put them in a bag and stick them in your freezer and they'll die that way. Otherwise, what you can do is, is get rid of them a little bit quicker by basically putting them on the ground and stomping on them. Well, I'll save this one. <laughs> okay, keep it for now. We also have some native plants in here that you can see. We have our duck potato as well as pickerel weed. And those are both plants that are good. We'll keep them in here. Um, we want to be able to allow them to be able to, to spread a little bit more. So we're going to end up pulling some of the um, nuisance plants around them so that they have more area to grow in. All right, we also have what kind of 
looks like uh, grass in here, but this is actually a sedge because of the edges on the plant. You can see the three edges to it. You can feel that. This is a native plant. This is American bulrush. It's something that naturally recruited to this area and it's good. We're going to keep it here, allow it to be able to um, fill in this area a little bit better. Are the flowers normally brown like that? Yep, yep. That's actually what the, the flowers look like. Um, this is the flower of the plant, which doesn't look like a flower, like a common one that you would think of. But yep, that's actually the, the, the flower to the plant. So let's, let's walk on. We just completed our pond walk. We walked all the way around the pond to identify what was exotic invasive plants, what we need to work on maintaining. Now it's time to work on pulling all these, these uh, plants out of the pond. So let's go. just finished our pond maintenance day. It only took us about 30 minutes with just a few of us people here pulling out all the invasive plants. We also actually also uncovered some native ones, the ones that we didn't see originally when we went around the pond. We have some pickerel weed that's out there and that'll give it some breathing room, basically area to, uh, to be able to grow and fill in. We also didn't remove everything from the pond because we wanted to leave some areas not exposed, especially over on that, that slope over there. We left a little bit just so that we didn't have any erosion or any cert, uh, soil washing away when it rains. So how, how did you think the, uh, the day went? It's the maintenance. Easy. It was fast. Yeah, it was great. But what next? What do we do after this? That's a good question. The next step, because we've uncovered some areas where now we can plant, is we're going to plant more natives in the pond to be able to help filter the water, filter any pollutants from it. So that's going to be the next step. We'll also uh, come out here every month, just kind of keep an eye on it, see, see what's happening with the pond. Maybe every quarter do uh, some maintenance on the pond, but that's going to be determined based on the inspections that we do out here. So with that, Join us next time when we do our planting out here. Yeah. All right, guys. See ya.